you do have to get the energy, you know. Sometimes you go on stage, you may have traveled for hours and hours and hours to get to a concert and you're feeling really, really tired. And you get on stage and as soon as you start, the, that energy from the audience that unless you're on stage, you, no, you can't actually transmit that or talk about it. To anyone else, it's something very, very personal. And it comes across to you and it just make, gives you an inner glow, you know, and it makes you feel really good. I try to get a, three or four groups that I catch their eye and grin at and have fun with, and you can steal a bit of energy off them. But, you know, I'm sitting back there, so I can't see very far. <coughs> so I can only see the first four or five rows on the reflected light from the stage. So they're, they're usually pretty strong fans anyway, so it's a, it's a good place to steal a bit of energy. There's a lot of people that, that you can focus on that, uh, that really feel it, yeah. I am definitely a morning person. I love the morning. Uh, I'm also a night person. Mm. Actually, I don't really like going to bed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if there was a way of not going to bed, I think I would do that. But uh, no, mornings are superb, beautiful. Since um, moving to Florida and living in, in Florida, and um, it's such a lovely time of day from about 6 to this time of year where it's getting a bit hot, from 6.30 to midday, it's such a lovely time of day. And, uh, and then get an afternoon nap in when it's steaming so you can stay up late on the night. So I now sleep two four hour sessions instead of one eight. Get the best of both worlds. There's something, you know, one of the, one of the greatest job and things that appeal to me about being a professional musician, which ever since I was at school, I was, I'm going to be, I know I'm going to do this because I can stay in bed in the mornings. So uh, that always appealed to me. If there's some, but if there's something to get up for, I'm up for it. And if there's something to stay up late for, I'm up for that as well. And uh, music for me, often writing is at, is at night. I like, I like that feeling, you know, when you think the rest of the world's asleep and uh, you, you, it's a solitary thing, you're on your own, and that, that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't have a typical day, I wish I did. I, I do, uh, you know, I don't play golf, but I do go for uh, long walks in the country. It's not a hobby or anything, I just keep forgetting where I live. <laughs> My typical day, um, I really don't have a routine. I've never, ever wanted to have any routine whatsoever. Um, I like to wake up in the morning and try and think who, who I want to be that day, or who, what I want to do that day. And, um, you know, the wonderful thing about being a musician, you, know, you can play your guitar all the while and play the piano, which I do I try to do every day, that's what I like to do. But I don't have any regimented idea of what, I, what I'm going to do. The most of the time is whizzing down the studio because I've been trying to, in the absence of any interest from the record company, listen to a lot of our early material and make, that, make sure that the mastering is right. I get on the A8, um, um, motorway at uh, just outside Nice and go until I get to Genoa and come off. <laughs> That's it. Along the Mediterranean, which I don't mind at all. After loving my wife and golf, eating and drinking fine wine is my happiness. So I'll wake up and if the sun's shining, I might say to my wife, let's get in the car and we'll drive to Paris. And we'll go on the uh, Channel Tunnel, straight to Paris, spend uh, the day there or two days, have a great time and then just come home. And um, you know, I think that to me is what life is about. You know, follow your what you feel you want to be that day. And uh, I know it, it's not possible for everyone because you know some people have to have a job they go to at a particular time. But and this way it comes all the way back really to finding that little space in the day, which is precious to you and is your own. And in that way, you can be your own free spirit during that period of time. So I was on a plane coming across. America from Los Angeles to New York and this guy sitting next to me we never normally sit together because yeah. well some of the boys are with their wives and that. but I was on my own sitting there and this guy said to me um, he said I know your face from somewhere he said when well, we met somewhere I said I don't think so no. and, uh, and ten minutes later he came and said I bet I know you I know you you know you're familiar with uh, you help me out here you know so I said well I'm sorry I, I don't think so I would if I could you know I mean, if someone asks, I just say I'm a musician and uh, leave it at that. If they want to take it any further, we take it further, you do. Yeah. Uh, I think it's always nice to try and find out what someone else does, to be honest. 
Uh, I play golf, love golf, um, and uh, one of the reasons I like playing is because you get the opportunity to meet people you never meet anywhere else in the world. He kept on going, and, and in the end I said, okay, right, um, I'm in a group called the Moody Blues, and uh, we had this uh, a PBS special that was done on us. It's been on TV quite a lot every week in the last few months, and I said, and you might have seen me uh, through that, through, because I'm one of the Moody Blues. He said, no, it's not that. <laughs> I said, well, I'm sorry, I can't help you then. <laughs> I'm a, I really can't help you then. <laughs> they don't know whether you're kidding, whether it's truthful or not. And then if they say you're kidding, then I start lying. Then I say, no, actually, I'm, I'm a yacht skipper. Because I did have a yacht once. Or an airline pilot, because I had a microlight once. And they'll believe that a lot more than being a famous international rock and roll star.